Hey guys, it's me, Fierji here. Today I'm going to be playing a spooky game called Ghostly Vessel. So yeah, without waste of time, let's go into it. Play. Now this one was suggested by Hazaween, so it should be pretty good, honestly. This game features randomly generated gameplay elements. Alright, well that's pretty cool. I was out on my inflatable boat last night, just fishing. Next thing I know, I've drifted, I've drifted off into the open ocean, fast asleep. When I woke up, there, th there was this old rusty cargo ship floating nearby. I swam over and climbed aboard. It looked abandoned, like it had been adrift for years. I went below deck to find a radio to call the, the, coast, the coast guard for help. Then, out of nowhere, th the, the door behind me slammed shut on its own. Alright. Okay, so we're dealing with some spirits, all right? Oh, can With a tap of the W, you you swiftly move. Add ASD, you dance like a dove. Hold shift, you'll dash with speed and grace. Press F, a fire lights up into space. Oh. Le left click your mouse to interact and play. In this spooky world, you will lead the way. That's a awesome way of telling you how to play the game. What? All right. When tapped, press, a th press the key of H. Guidance awaits in the game array. Current goals were filled without delay. In this abandoned realm, clear your way. I love the these instructions. So press H. Run into rooms to hide from Spectre. Matches can be found throughout the area. Get access to Captain's Cabin. Find a key for the safe. Find new fuse box slash fix power. Get code for the radio room. Alright, this is no safe. Our plan is set in motion. The seeds of rebellion sown among the, the discontented hearts of the crew. Tonight, under th the cover of darkness, we shall strike with swift and, and decisive action. The captain's arrogance knows no bounds and it is time he pays the price for his tyranny. We shall corner him in his own cabin, where he will have nowhere to run, and there, justice will be served. Let not mercy soften our resolve, for the fate of the ship rests upon our shoulders. Alright, well done. So I only have four matches left, but these go out pretty damn quick, actually. So we see the specter run like hell, man. I'm just gonna go in each room. Okay, there's like a story in each one of these rooms. Alright, let's read this one. I cannot carry the burden of our sins any longer. We thought ourselves clever as staging a, a mutiny to claim the treasures the captain hoarded for himself. But in, our, but in our lust for wealth, we became monsters. We cornered the captain in his own cabin, where tensions reached a boiling point, and, and in the chaos that ensued, he, he met his demise. We might leave on the lifeboats, but... But we will leave behind our humanity. May this confession serve as a warning to those who seek fortune at the expense of honor. Alright, I'm gonna turn this game down actually. That boat creaking is loud. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn this down real quick. Sorry if it's been loud. Yeah, I just noticed that. I'll try 40% see how it does. Alright, so. We want it loud to hear so. Okay, map. Deck E map. I mean, I'm just gonna explore, honestly. Alright, let's go th this way. Okay, storage. Um, now, we can barely see, but I want to save my matches. I mean, we can kind of see, though. I mean, you really don't even think about it. We don't need the, ma the matches. Yeah, the game allows you to see stuff without the matches. I mean. Oh, did I find the radio? Found new fuse box. Oh, nice. Okay. So I haven't encountered the specter yet. Do not want to know what happens if you do. Yeah, I kind of suck to find out actually. Okay, what's that? Oh, more matches. I never know. I penned these words with a heavy heart and trembling hand, for I played a part in the tragedy that that befell the good captain. It was I, his loyal first mate, who stood by and watched as the crew ro ro rose up against him. Consumed by greed and tre treachery, 
I cannot bear to raise my voice in his de defense for fear of meeting the same fate. I pray for forgiveness that may never come. Okay, so a lot of things are happening. Okay, but I found a key for a safe hole. Nice, man. All right. All right, we hit dead ends. Hopefully, we don't run to the specter. We know how to run, so we have to abscond at rapid pace we can. All right. I got the key for the save. So this game seems to be incre incredibly short. Most of it's story based, I imagine. We haven't encountered the specter yet, though. I have a feeling we will at some point. Right, it's safe in here, maybe? No. Well, a fuse box would be top priority. Alright, this is a junction. Let's go this way. Oh, yeah, we need to find the code a little. Alright, yeah, we need to find the code, actually. Alright, it's going here. Ooh, a bathroom. This place has seen better days, hell. There might be stuff in here, though, so we want to look, actually. Yeah, you don't have to use the matches. I mean, out. Two for the match. Doesn't really help that much if you think about it. I mean, it's not that bright. Alright, that's blocked off, so we can't go that way. Okay. This is randomly generated, apparently, so this whole map is unique to, to this playthrough. That's pretty cool to think about, actually. Yeah. Alright, this is electrical control. Oh, nice, man. Well, we have a fuse, so I might as well put it in, right? The power's off until a new fuse is, fuse is installed. Now I can turn on the power. Caution. Power overload may deactivate electric lever, requiring manual reactivation. That's good to know. Well, now we can see without the... Um, the aid of the um yeah the thing all right so cafeteria let's go to the captain's cabin frick oh so much for wanting the power to be on guessing we'll just for forfeit that i mean yeah i don't see the point in trying to keep the Okay, that was scary. Yeah, but the safe is 100% inside the captain's um, area, though, isn't it? Yeah, we definitely want to go for the captain's area. So we know how to get away from the specter, so it's not bad, actually. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, okay, the mouse... Okay, the only issue I'm noticing with this game... The door's unlocked, yet stuck. Need the tool to open it. Oh, great. There's probably two in here somewhere. Okay, more matches. Uh, can't go that way. Okay. Alright, big fat dead ends. Okay, so I guess we find the tool somewhere else. Hopefully we don't get chased down here because that door is closed. We can't go in that. We are dead if we get chased. I'm scared. Guess I go to the cafeteria. Maybe some something's down there. There's probably a tool down there. Yeah, one thing I'm noticing, the mouse keeps jumping on me for no reason. Alright, here's the cafeteria. I'm assuming if we're in any of these rooms, we're automatically safe. Yeah. Okay, that's just blocked off, isn't it? <laughs> Too far, we could probably move that, actually. Alright. Well, oh, damn. Well, that's a big fat dead end, isn't it? Alright, let's go back. I keep thinking that creaking is the specter, right? I keep thinking that's the specter, but no, it's not. Oh, so already looks really bright as hell now. I've been staring at black screen, essentially. Not really black screen, though. Okay, is there a tool in storage? Um, no. Okay, here's something a little bit strange. Can I check on these other rooms real quick? I wonder if turning on the lights are also triggers. Imagine we're like cheating in a way, are we? Are there tools in these places? I don't think so. I don't think they'll put the tool. Okay, the mouse is actually being annoying. It's glitching like crazy. Why is it glitching? Why is it doing this? All right. See, so the thing is, I'm trying to find new areas, but we can't find new areas. We need to find tools what we need to find. 
So see, here's some shelves. You think a toy will be somewhere laying around here, right? No. I'm gonna try to turn on the power again. I don't think it's gonna do anything. It's a power spawns the toy. Yeah, it became annoying actually. Is that the specter? Is that the sound of it? I have no idea. I haven't found any tools. Yee. Yeah, this, yeah, this is spooky. We can't find any tools, man. There's only so much you can go, too. Like, what? Oh, that creaking is creeping me out. It's actually the loudest thing, too. Like, which makes it hard. Which makes it more worse. Yeah. I just say, I want to say it makes it harder to know. I guess it kind of does probably obscure the noise of the specter. So, should I try going this way? So, we need a code for that. So... Mm, check the bathroom, mate? It's where I hid from Spectre last time. See, so there's no tools, like, anywhere. We need a tool. We need it. Can we pass this somehow? No. I was thinking maybe, maybe we pass that up somehow? I don't think so. So, I have no idea where this tool is, guys. And I can't look at video, because if this is randomly generated, we can't just go buy some randos video. So our tool inside the, um, it would be inside the electrical room. The most useless room out of the whole lot. Guess we turn on the power again? It's gonna turn off the, yeah, it's gonna get overloaded. It's like old or something. Should I go back to cafeteria? See, now we can see absolutely everything for a minute. I wonder if we can pass this door up somehow. No, I don't think you do, actually. That room is bare bones. I don't think he's supposed to go in there. Okay. But yeah, looking at figure will be useless since, um, yeah, this is random. So when you turn on the power, so... That's only when I notice when the ghost is online. It's when you turn on the power and it shuts it off. Yeah. So you don't turn on the power, you actually can just stomp on this? Like, so I'm noticing. They just leave the power off. It causes no issues. So just go back here, I guess? There has to be a tool somewhere. Sure, it probably spawns it after the fact you interacted with it, right? I might do a jump cut. Yeah, if we don't find it here, I'll do a jump cut. That would fit you as too long over this. Why don't I just leave the ship? Why are you here? Oh, right. We need to find a radio. Which we need to open the safer code. So, I have no idea where tools are, actually. Maybe in here... You think on the shelves, right? I mean, the most proper place to put a tool in. Guess what? <laughs> There's no tool. It's a troll. Check this again. Let's light it up, actually. Oh, okay. So these crates do have insides. We can't go. You can't move those. So. So there's a chance to spec the response since we have a light. But we 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 collect it on the matches in the map, and we haven't had to use them that much. Alright, so I might go and do a jump cut until I find the tool. Yeah, see, after the massive jump cut until I actually find the tool to open the captain's door. That way, this video isn't too long, so yeah. See, after the massive jump cut. Okay, so I found the crowbar. You guys don't want to know how long this took. So, yeah, um, I was looking at the good thing controls for a second. How'd that get rid of that? There we go. Okay, so now we can break open the captain's quarters. <gasps> Yay! You guys don't want to know how long that took, but we have been looking at several videos. All right. If you find this letter, know that on is not as it seems aboard the ship. There are whispers among the corners, suggesting a a betrayal of the highest order. Though I have no concrete proof, I sense treachery brewing like a storm on the ho horizon. My trust in those I once called comrades has w has waned, and I fear for the safety of this vessel and all who sail upon her. Stay vigilant, 
for for danger may lurk in the most unexpected places, Captain. Okay, so it's oh safe. Oh, oh, that scared me actually. Uh, the captain was hanging there, I guess. All right. Oh, okay. We have the code. Just... I'm hiding. I'm hiding. So I'm assuming the ghost's gonna be acting now because I have the code. So I'm assuming, yeah, we don't write down numbers. I'm guessing we just go to the keypad. Okay, I'm gonna high tail at me. High tail to the door. We know where the door is. I mean, why not? Oh my god, guys. It was a crowbar laying on the floor. Who would guess? All right. But not a bad game, though. Just, yeah, I was dumb. So far, I've been playing without using the matches at all. So that's probably how that happened. All right, so we're all great. Things the stakes are high. I assume the ghost is going to be more active because I'm holding the code in my hand. There are no rooms nearby. Okay. Need power on. Oh, you kidding me. Alright, so where's the power again? Okay. Oh, it's right there, actually. That's actually clutch. Alright. Okay, the mouse keeps glitching. Open. <gasps> yes! Yay! We got through the radio! <laughs> Alright. Having functional radio, I contacted the Coast Guard. And upon their arrival, I escaped the Forsaken Vessel. Alright. Many thanks for playing. K kindly show your support for, for the creator by giving this game a like or leaving a comment. And please don't forget to share it with your friends. It will mean a lot to me. Well, no problem. I just got stumped at this because I couldn't find the crowbar. That's really it. But you guys see, not bad. Thanks to Hazween for suggesting this one. It's actually not bad. I think my friend, Horror Gamer, played this in the past. But, yeah, I've been doing other games, so. But it was cool to check this out. Gotta say, not bad. Just, it's not your fault, Dev, that I couldn't find the crowbar. It's my fault for running without the matches, although. Probably saved tons of, tons of deaths, honestly. But, yeah, gotta say, for, for, for what this was, it was, it was pretty solid. If, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe for more videos and take care. See you in the next one.